Hey, Joan, come on in. Did you take care of your probe? You washed it before your first use? Come on in. Let me explain how we're going to do this now. So what's going to happen is I put a little uh, lubricant on the table here, and uh, you're going to take your probe out of the bag and just dunk the tip there, okay? I'm going to step out while you do that. You're going to insert the probe, make sure it says front, bring it all the way up to the rim, bring the pants up, wire comes out the top, and hop up on the table here. Now just be careful, make sure it doesn't move in either direction. It has to stay facing forward. Ring the bell when you're ready, and I'll come back in, okay? Great. Hey Joan, you got everything all set up there? I know it's not the most comfortable thing, I got it, but you're going to be leaning back on the table and you're not going to be moving around a lot while we start this. So I'm going to take your piece of the probe there, okay, the wire, and I'm going to connect it right into the biofeedback. The biofeedback then gets connected into the computer. And as you can see on the screen, you have the red line, and the red line is the weak muscle, the pelvic floor muscle. The blue line we have connected to your belly. Okay, so we want to make sure that the blue line is not working during this exercise. So the first thing I want to see you do is cough. And I'll have you cough to make sure that the uh, biofeedback is in place properly. Very good. All right. So the first exercise we're going to start with are called Kegels. Now, because you're here for weakness, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on contracting and relaxing the same rate. So we're going to have you do five second squeeze with the pelvic floor, no other muscles. I don't want you using your stomach or your inner thighs or your buttocks, just pelvic floor muscles. You're going to squeeze, you're going to hold for five seconds, and then you're going to release for five seconds. And you can see at the bottom, just like uh, any screen here, any graph, you have numbers at the bottom and every five seconds is, is a number here. So you can just, we're looking for a bell curve here. As it goes up, you want it to go up, not just peak and come down, but you want to try to hold it up there for the five seconds and then you want to release for the five seconds. If you're having difficulty with the release, feel free to, for, to release for longer, okay? So this is in microvolts, this is how high you're going, okay? So that's your power and this is your time, okay? So we're going to do that till it gets to 300. The next time that you come in, we're going to vary that. We'll do quick flicks, simulating the coughing or the sneezing that you have when you, you leak, when you laugh, cough, or sneeze. Remember that and the exercise part after having those kids? So what we'll do the next time is we'll add on quick flick and release, quick flick and release, just like you're doing at home. Terrific. So Joan, the next exercise I want you to do, since you've been coming here for a few weeks now, I feel that you're ready to do a standing activity. See, when you do the Kegels, it's easiest to do them lying down and then sitting up, but standing is definitely the hardest because gravity is bringing your junk down, right? I always explain that it's like having a grocery bag and you don't want your groceries to fall out the bottom. So we have to have that pelvic floor nice and tucked up and tight, but also learn how to relax it as well. So the next one is called plie. So just like if you've ever taken ballet class, you're putting your feet almost in second position, okay? And then you're going down just a little bit. Bigger is okay also, but you're going down just a little bit. And then when you're down there, you want to turn your knees out and kegel and then release and come up. So that's called a plie. So it's down, kegel as the knees go back, release as they come up. And you can do this at home as well while you're brushing your teeth. Hey Joan, you did great with that. I'm able to see what you're doing on the computer. We're collecting your data and I'll be able to compare it each time. And we'll be able to see that you're able to hold the contraction for longer. So today it's just really learning. You're just figuring out how to use those muscles. And that'll have carryover to what you do at home. It's very important that you do ex your exercises every day, not just when you come to the therapy a couple times a week, all right? All right, the next exercise that we're going to do includes a ball. So we're going to have you put the soft ball in between your legs and we're going to have you squeeze. Now, with this exercise, since we're aiming to strengthen, what I want you to do is I want you to squeeze the ball between your knees. So I'm standing up, but basically it would look like this. Squeeze together. Now, I have two options here, Joan. I can actually squeeze and kegel at the same time and take a look at the screen and seeing if it's going up, or I can actually do it without kegeling and seeing which is better. Sometimes we can activate those muscles better without the actual Kegel because we fatigue. So there's some overflow in the other muscles around the area. So by the time you're finished doing these exercises after a few sessions and at home, you'll notice that you're able to do more than just peak and drop down, that you'll be able to hold. And maybe we can progress you to doing seven or 10 second holds as well as seven to 10 seconds relaxing. Remember, always relax the amount that you're contracting when we strengthen it.